Chanak, Enoch, 10. Then El Elyon, the great and holy one, spoke and sent Ar Se Yalal Er, rather Ar Se Yalal Yer, to the son of Lamech, saying, Say to him in my name, Conceal yourself. Then explain to him the com- consummation which is about to take place. For all the earth shall perish. The waters of a deluge shall come over the whole earth, and all things which are in it shall be destroyed. And now teach him how he may escape and how his seed may remain in all the earth. Again, Yahuwah said to Raphael, Bind Azazel hand and foot, cast him into darkness, and opening the desert which is in Dudael, cast him in there. Throw upon him hurled and pointed stones, covering him with the darkness. There shall he remain forever. Cover his face, that he may not see the light. And in the great day of judgment, let him be cast into the fire. Restore the earth, which the angels have corrupted, and announce life to it, that I may revive it. All the sons of men shall not perish in consequence of every secret, rather, every secret by which the watchers have destroyed and which they have taught their offspring. All the earth has been corrupted by the effects of the teaching of Azazel. To him, therefore, ascribe the whole crime. To Gavriel, also Yahuwah said, Go to the bastards, to the reprobates, to the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication, the offspring of the watchers from among men. Bring them forth and execute them one against another. Let them perish by mutual slaughter for length of days shall not be theirs. They shall all entreat you, but their fathers shall not obtain their wishes respecting them, for they shall have hope for eternal life, and that they may live, each of them, five hundred years. To Mikael, likewise, Yahuwah said, Go and announce his crime to Shemi Aza, and to the others who are with him who have been associated with women, that they might be polluted with all their impurity. And when all their sons shall be slain, when they shall see the perdition of their beloved, bind them for seventy generations underneath the earth, even to the day of judgment and of consummation until the judgment, the effect of which will last forever, be completed. Then shall they be taken away into the lowest depths of the fire and torments, and in confinement shall be shut up. Rather, shall they be shut up forever. Immediately after this shall Shemi Arza, together with them, burn and perish. They shall be bound until the consummation of many generations. Destroy all the souls addicted to lust and the offspring of the watchers, for they have tyrannized over mankind. Rather, tyrannized over mankind. Let every oppressor perish from the face of the earth. Let every evil work be destroyed. The plant of righteousness 
and of rectitude appear and its produce become a blessing. Righteousness and rectitude shall be forever planted with delight. And then shall all the Kodashim give thanks and live until they have begotten a thousand children, while the whole period of their youth and their Shabbatot shall be completed in peace. In those days all the earth shall be cultivated in righteousness. It shall be wholly planted with trees and filled with benediction. Every tree of delight shall be planted in it, and it shall be vines planted, and the vine which shall be planted in it shall yield fruit to satiety. Every seed which shall be sown in it shall produce for one measure a thousand, and one measure of olives shall produce ten presses, presses of oil. Purify the earth from all oppression, from all injustice, from all crime, from all impiety, and from all the pollution which is committed upon it. Exterminate them from the earth. Then shall all the children of men be righteous, and all nations shall pay me divine honors and bless me, and all shall adore me. The earth shall be cleansed from all corruption, from every crime, from all punishment, and from all suffering. Neither will I again send a deluge upon it from generation to generation forever.